First time being cold in August, I can tell you. I had to put the heat on in the bathroom. Tea Tuesday. I already poured the water and soaked the bag because I did a short. I don't know if that video saves in my gallery or not. I don't know. I should have. Yeah. Anyway, I added some cold water so I can drink it. I'm going to put this on. Okay, so. I filled the washer so it should have a lot of water came from directly from the well today. Nice fresh from the well. I always run the water. I don't want to drink uh, water that's been laying in pipes. Yeah. I'll put the tea bags back. I don't know how many Tuesdays this is so far that I've been uh, doing tea Tuesday. I'll put the tea bag in the compost thing. Oh. I don't know where my I don't have any vegetables cooked for my brunch. Okay, carry that with you out there on this. I'll open a can, I guess. Going out to the screen room. I got my bicycle shorts on today. They got fur on them, but that's okay. What's a little fur between friends? Right? Hi Stacy and Michelle. <laughs> okay, so I I already showed the dragonflies, I think. Jeez. <laughs> Anyway, should I have my first sip? I hope, I hope it doesn't burn my mouth. Just right. This mug is, uh, I don't know where the other mug went. The other one's got, uh, when Richard used to get a Tim Hortons, he would pour his coffee in this. Oh no, that's stainless steel too. He would pour his coffee in this because the coffee smell it doesn't just come from the coffee itself it's embedded into all the cups and everything like roll up the rim to win all those cups so he would pour it out and get rid of the um, paper whatever it's made out of so so that uh, the smell of it wouldn't make me sick I know I'm lucky to have a very understanding husband because I can't imagine living with someone like me I hardly can live with myself sometimes. That's the truth. So, this Tea Tuesday, maybe I'll put it in the beginning of the video I did this morning on my walk. I worked and I walked. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, see you here. And I don't want to make another long video, and I got so much to do. It's a full time, like a full time job with lots of overtime and no pay just a lot of enjoyment and every time I get a video a, a comment that says you inspire me because of watching you I am able to do this if only one person said that to me it'd be all worth it um, yeah I don't know if I should say that or not but uh, I'm not calling myself perfect like 
uh, our Lord Jesus, but if there was only one person, he would have opened his arms and died for that person. Not that I'm going to do anything like that, but if one person gets helped or, yeah. Good morning, friends. I think I lost count. I don't know if today is the 16th or the 17th now. I think it's the 16th. Oh, boy. Uh, there's the time. There's the wood pile. There's my machine. There's some wood on the truck. There's my beautiful phone case. There's the beautiful sky. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I picked up all I can pick up from here. I might be able to get that one over there, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go on and pile now. I'm gonna have a drink of water. I took my pills early before I came over. That's it, friends. That only took me seven minutes, six minutes. There we go. I don't know, he's going to put a couple sticks on the top row there, not the second row or not, but anyway, I hear the goals. Let's look at this guy. Oh. Yeah, I used to do this all the time, but I guess I forgot somewhere along the line. So let's pack up, get ready to go home. I'll edit. Put a new battery in this last night. Whew. Warm.
I got over 10,000 steps last night. I took a picture, I'll insert it somewhere here. Twenty four hundred and fifty is all I got. Wonder if I should walk not down the road a little bit. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. I don't have a sign or anything. No sign. I just have to take a picture of it. Okay. And then I think they text you or something. All right. Technology. I take, love it. I just love it. Thank I say, you. take me back to a paper and pen. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, not me. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. I just got a parcel. I wonder what it could be. It's three pounds. He takes a picture of it, putting it on the deck. Thank you for your order. Global Health Imports. Wonder what that could be. Oh, it's Pure Later. Now see, I never got Pure Later before. It's heavy. Well, three pounds. All right, that's it. <coughs> I gotta add that in. <laughs> nice young man. glasses thing come off. My string thing around my neck. Glad I didn't lose those. Okay, let's... I didn't bring any gloves with me. If the mosquitoes start chewing on my hands, I'll come back. And my face... Earrings of the day. Dragonflies. Today. It's a breeze, that's nice. Got my old sneakers on because I was broken. And actually, they're still very comfortable for me. I was on my feet for five hours plus yesterday, and uh, yeah, it was okay. My feet and legs were okay. Here comes a biker. I said hi, and he said hi. He's probably going over to the intersection and back. There's quite a wind in my ears. I hope I don't get an earache. Seagulls up there on the peak. Let's just watch walk around this the old schoolhouse, elementary schoolhouse, and now it's the new fire department. Well, it's been there for quite a few years now, but I'll show you the, the old one. Richard was in elementary school here, probably grade six. They were playing ball in this front field here. Those flowers weren't there. And this is just what he told me yesterday. And they were over here by this driveway here. And he hit the ball and it went way over and landed on that deck over there by that white house. And after that, they wouldn't let them play ball there anymore. <laughs> That's how far he hit the ball to. Oh my goodness. He said he was the fastest runner too. <laughs> Look at all the yellow and leaf, green leaves down. Yeah, That's nice that people... Uh, Mow the sides. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you the place where there's some fresh eggs. 
This is, I've only gone this way one other time, I think. So it shouldn't be that boring. I got a splinter in my shoe again, my sneaker. Oh, something in that house too. Huh. This is a community hall here. Yeah. Oh, nice flowers done up here. Mowed on the side, side of the road. A relative used to live here, to my left, where that fresh egg sign is. She was my father's father's sister. Right there ahead, that used to be the old fire hall house. Yeah, not very big, huh? And now they have uh, yard sales when they have this. Oh, they got two heat pumps. When they have this here, uh, used to be Oktoberfest and now it's Fun Fest because they moved it to the end of September instead of the 1st of October. see any sign that says yeah oh it's a must be vacational vacational bible school for the kids maybe yeah i used to help with that in the early 90s and i used to help my friend uh teach sunday school at this church i know i've told that story before uh, i'm because of my Sensitivities to scents and chemicals. I asked, could they please not bring in the lilacs? This is one example. Can you not please bring in the lilacs after Sunday school, in between Sunday school and church? No, they couldn't do that because they kept on putting them there before. I would go in there and that smell would instantly get in my head like a knife driving through my, my brain. And now oh, the roses are in this pretty tree so anyway then I had a book on the chemical sensitivities environmental illness and I left it there for anybody that wanted to read up on it and try to understand it I'll dig up a picture of the old church that was up there in the back Hello. What are you guys' name? Cecil and Cecilia? <laughs> so anyway, to get back to my story. Uh, then one day I went in there. I don't think anybody read the book or looked at it. I met one lady outdoors by the post office. She said, but I didn't put any perfume on. Because... Uh, And uh, I could smell her before I got to her. It's not just perfume, it's hairspray, it's body spray, body lotions, laundry detergents is the worst offender now. Yeah, laundry detergents took over all the other personal body things. That's a nice bouquet somebody put there not too long ago by the looks of it. I don't even know that name, Ennis. Sounds like a Liverpool or Bridgewater name. Somewhere around that area, I don't know. There we go. Up the hill. They'll probably be mowing up here pretty soon. Nice new one on that one too. It's covering the, the name. Enslow. Okay, this Sutherland, William Sutherland, Bill Sutherland, he used to uh, teach school, like a vocational school, I believe. And uh, yeah, he's a relative of, uh, 
what's his name? Donald. Sutherland and Kiefer. Yeah. I don't know how de decent, distant, but... Some of these people... I don't even know. Yeah. I knew this lady up here. She used to run the store over. It's not a store anymore. Over by the grid. It's not a store anymore. People we know lives in it. It's just a house. With a husband and wife and a couple kids. Yeah. I haven't been up here for a while. But you don't have to be. You can talk to your loved ones no matter where they are. It's beautiful. Yeah. Dead in his tractors. He drove a cement truck before, yes. Yeah. That's lovely. There's a moose. <laughs> yeah, he had he gave one moose to Richard. I might as well come up here. I got a, a friend. Her grave is up here. Yeah. She went a year before mummy, so it's gonna be 19 years. That looks like fresh new flowers. That's nice. Look how sunk in that is. Mother and son. Yeah. But he was only 40 years old. Yeah. Brain aneurysm. That one's got a pattern on it. Uh, let's walk. I don't want to stop too long because the mosquitoes will come. Marie Polly Brown. I used to spend a lot of time at her house playing Scrabble with her. I never knew her husband. Yeah. Big tree limb. Coming down over those ones. French, Antoinette, Antoinette Harlow. I don't know who that is. Must have been a fisherman here because there's a fishing boat. I didn't know the husband, but I knew the, the woman. She was in church. Yeah. That's uh, the mother of a dear friend. I didn't meet her either. Yeah, 1990. I didn't meet my friend until 91, I think. So, yeah. Okay, somebody said once to us, aren't you scared of, look at the sky. No, they didn't say that. They said, aren't you scared with all these dead people up here? No, it's the live ones we've got to be careful of, not the dead ones. <laughs> yeah. So, I got a, an old boyfriend buried up here. His father, him, his mother, his father, his mother, and him. I was only 16. He was 14. Yeah, I was always robbing the cradles, I guess. Oh. Beautiful. She always came and gave me a hug, no matter what. Because one time, about 10 o'clock at night, uh, a knock came at my door and this young fellow that I know his mother quite well and he knocked on the door and he said he there was a dead cat on the road and he wanted to know if it was ours and uh, he explained to me the cat and I said no it's not ours but I said you can leave it with us if you want to or he might have asked I can't remember if we asked or he said Richard wasn't even there I don't know where he was anyway I said, yes, we'll take care of the kitty. We want somebody to do that if it was our cat. Anyway, because some people, you never know what happened to your cat. It's just gone. Anyway. So, 
the next day. Richard took care of it and buried it. And uh, then I asked at the post office. And I put up a paper on the wall, of the board there, or if she asked around and uh, found out whose cat it was. And it happened to be uh, their cat, her cat. Why is her name not coming to my mind right now? And she always came to me and thanked me so many times. Give me a big hug and always so friendly and nice to me. What's her name? Oh no, I can't even. Anna, sorry, Anna. Anna. She came back a few years ago to her childhood home. And Richard's dad said, I know her. We used to play ball in their field. She was older than him, but I didn't even look at the dates, her dates. I'll look at it another day to see how old she was, what year she was born. Uh, Richard's dad was born in the same year as my mom, 1927. Yeah, my dad was 1918. And, yeah, <laughs> I'll turn that. It just happened to be her husband that just drove by me. Oh, no, oh, oh. Is that squirrel gonna have a disease? Oh, I'm not gonna pick it up, because I don't know. It's already dead, it's not gonna, dragonfly. Dragonfly season. I forget what they're a predator of. So, anyway, yeah. I was walking here a couple years ago, June 25th, and I turned my ankle on the side of the pavement and I went flying. Got a big gash in the palm of my thumb there, but it was uh, the pandemic, lockdown. Didn't want to go to the hospital if I didn't have to, so I called a friend and she said, no, I don't think, maybe, but I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we just bandaged it up and it just, right there on my, just come right open again. But it healed after a while. And, uh, yeah, I didn't want to go get cold. Uh, pandemic. <laughs> the big sea. The worldwide sea. That's how much wood we got left in that pile. I don't know if he said five quart or something. He measures it somehow and knows. <laughs> and uh, here's the new pile over here. Warning, wood piles. <laughs> I'm not going to work in the wood anymore, though. I think I'll edit this as soon as I go home. 16 cord. Whew. Should probably... <sighs> open the door or the window, something. The light doesn't come on in there, so it's all right. Interior lights don't come on. So I'm not going to kill the battery. Secret passage way. The same old drill. Day in and day out. But I don't always stop and show the birch trees. There's a maple in between the birch. I think. I'll go down to the well another day and tell that story again. <laughs> Yeah, because everybody doesn't watch every video, or all of each video, so they don't know all my stories. They don't know their uh, repeats. Let's see if I'm going to pick a cucumber. I ate that one. Yeah, I'll pick this one. another one there. I'll pick that tomorrow. Oh! That was there. Zucchinis. Said so give it a lot of water. Well, I did give it a lot of water, I thought.
Richard finally found the cucumber that our friend gave him for to give to me. He actually peeled it and uh, sliced it for me. <laughs> Lay the cucumber there. That's just me puffing and puffing every day. My stomach feels empty. Oh, just remembered something. It's Tuesday. Sock number one. Sock number two. I was supposed to be learning about the gimbal. I'll have to edit this video and then do it. I got purple on today, my purple tank top. Alright, I'm going to go in. I'm going to cut this off here and I'm going in. Tony, Mama. Mommy, come in to get her brunch ready. It's 10 after 12. Hello friends, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed as so much as I enjoy. See you in the next one, Lord willing. Friends, if you could just subscribe and hit the bell and give us a little thumbs up, it would help us.